All right, guys, Francois here, continuing on the timing little technical series. So now that you understand the basic principles of the piston and the uh, compression stroke, the way to tell the difference on which stroke you're on is remove the spark plug on number one and rotate the engine until you hear the air really blowing past your finger if you try and block it. All right, and if you're new to this, it's good to go through a few cycles you can actually take all the spark plugs out if your engine is struggling. Just make sure the ignition is off or just ground it out. And by that I mean put a jumper wire from any ground on the engine to the negative terminal on the coil. And that'll make sure that you don't have any spark while you're trying to do this. Because uh, these inline fours are impossible to turn. They're a real pain. Uh, you can do it by hand with some vice grips on the V-belt so the plugs out. But usually there's just too much drag and it's a pain in the butt. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to also show you how to hotwire the starter without using the key. So this little yellow terminal over here, let me actually zoom in a little, see if we can get real close. Okay, so you'll notice over here, from the back, there's a small terminal over here. There's another small one on this side, and this large main one that usually goes to the battery. Okay. You can put any wire, you can even just take a piece of wire with a 12 volt positive and you can bridge it from this one to the little guy and it's going to just like engage the starter. See there? That's going to let you turn the engine over. I have a remote starter, cost 10 bucks. Um, pretty much just a button, comes with two little clamps, one goes on battery 12 volt positive, you could put that on the battery itself. And the other one has to go to the tiny terminal on the starter. All right. All I'm showing you here is how to connect up a remote starter. All right. One goes to the positive 12 volt source. The other half goes to the little terminal with the yellow wire or the inner terminal on the Chevy. Okay. That's just enabling us to move this engine around. What we're trying to do is we're trying to find the compression stroke. So I'm going to put the camera on the mount and I'm going to demonstrate. All right, I have my remote starter hooked up. Uh, I'm able to rotate the engine now on this. Uh, you can see there. What I'm going to do is I got the spark plug out over here. I'm clear of any uh, plug wires that might want to shock me. Stick your finger in the plug hole and keep going. It'll suck, and then it'll do a little of nothing, and then it's going to blow a lot of air past your finger. There, you heard that big whoosh. That's the compression stroke. All right, now you're going to have to keep going around. There again, you heard it a second time. Now, this is a little bit of a gorilla way of doing this because it's very hard to get it to where you want it this way, but it's doable. If you can somehow manage to take the spark plugs out and try and rotate it by hand, you can pinch the V-belts and you can put a big screwdriver through the pulley bolts and kind of use that as leverage. There's just no nut on these inlines that you can put a socket on. Okay, now, while we're on the topic of this, let me get the phone back. I'm going to show you what a points distributor looks like and how it works. All right. So, this is a four-cylinder, right? If you look at this metal section in the middle here, it's got four little lobes on it and four flats, all right? Where this is at its highest is where you're going to set your points gap, okay? So, I'm just going to rotate it until the heel, which is that little that little plastic piece over there that's riding on the metal is going to contact this and these points are going to open all right i'm going to try and get it to stop in the middle quickly okay that's perfect you can see now that i'm on the high spot on one of these lobes and it doesn't matter which one you use and now you can see there's a little bit of a gap here between these points now the principle of operation is this when these points are connected physically connected this coil is building up energy. All that current from the battery is literally flowing into this. The moment those points open, all that energy gets released through here, down to the center of the spark plug, 
down to the rotor and out to the cylinder that needs to fire. All right. So I'm going to say this, and it, if you're new to this, you might have to go over this a few times to understand it. What we want to do is we want to rotate the engine to where we want it to spark physically we're going to turn this either by hand or try and get lucky with a starter we want to get it on the compression stroke to stop really close to where it needs to spark in order to at least just run so i'm actually going to see if i can get lucky here and i don't know if you'll see the little yellow dot but there's one yellow dot on this pulley which is your timing mark and it's continually going to go in circles i want to see if i can get it to at least stop where you guys can see it so let's see i usually look for it when it's coming up on the other side there it is okay look at that We've managed to stop this engine exactly on zero, where we don't really want it to run. So I'm going to quickly pause and see if I can turn this engine back by hand just a half inch. All right, so I've gone around in circles with my finger on the plug hole, and I've pretty much been able to get the little dot to stop about a half inch before my zero mark. Okay. So it's important that you know where your zero mark is. If it's rusty, you've got to sand it, reference some pics online, it's important. Okay, so basically we know now that the engine is pretty much on the compression stroke, which means it's just blown past my finger when that mark advanced up to the stop where it was a few seconds ago. And you, you can keep going in circles until you're sure that you have it on the compression stroke and it's stopped a little before the mark you know if you even got it on the zero the motor would still run enough for you to put a timing light on it this is where people say you're